What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this chilly Tuesday. I'm doing pretty good myself. I don't know if you guys heard about this particular story, but shout out to the Sister Queen. I know who I am for hipping me to it, okay? Situation took place at a McDonald's in Ohio, okay? It says here, Ohio officer who hit woman in McDonald's dispute placed on leave, okay? This happened all about extra cheese on a Big Mac, okay? Let's get into this story right here. I'll tell you, man, any more these days you go to these fast food restaurants, they don't want to give you you know the quality of what you're paying for you know that's the reason why you know we need to just cook our food at home okay because without customers there's no restaurant there's no business there's no nothing you know we the public keep places like mcdonald's burger king wendy's and all the rest of them any other restaurant you may you know go to in business okay now this happened in uh dayton ohio an Ohio officer has been put on administrative leave after video showed him punching a black woman several times as she was taken into custody following a dispute at a McDonald's over extra cheese on a Big Mac. The incident captured on video by a bystander occurred shortly after 4 p.m. Monday at the restaurant at Butler Township, Ohio. It began after Latinka Hancock, 31, of Dayton, well, Dayton, bought a Big Mac and returned to the restaurant a short time later because it did not have the extra cheese she paid for. Hancock said a restaurant worker asked another employee to remake her burger, but that person later asked Hancock to pay more for extra cheese. Hancock said she had already paid for it and asked for her refund. Okay. Um, which she says she eventually received. Hancock said she was then told police had been called and was asked to leave the restaurant. Two butler officers, Sergeant Todd Stanley and Tim Sellers, responded their round, well, they're around 4.20 p.m. and approached Hancock, who spoke with them about what had occurred. Okay, now I have a question. Uh, why was the police, you know, called? You know what I mean? If her money was returned and whatever, I like to know what took place to the point to where McDonald's felt like they had to call the police. But to continue here, it says, when the officers asked Hancock for a driver's license, authorities say Hancock told them she didn't have one and refused to provide her identification. The exchange soon became heated and one of the officers decided to place Hancock under arrest. Okay. Huh. Well, you know, when they ask you for ID, the best thing to do is just comply with it and give them the ID. You understand? You don't want to make things worse than what it really has to be. But I can guarantee you, you know, tell you guys this. I watched the video and uh, I'm going to try to put it in the um, description box for you guys to check it out. It was uncalled for for what that damn officer did, you know, punching this woman, you know what I mean? The way he, you know, hit her. She was already pretty much to do, and he did a cowardly act like a lot of them do, you know, and start hitting her, okay? But to continue here, it says the officer said Hancock resisted arrest, and Stanley eventually hit Hancock on the right side of the face with an open palm strike. Okay, I beg to differ. That did not look like open palm strike. But to continue, Hancock was then placed in handcuffs, put into a police cruiser, and charged with resisting arrest and three other minor accounts. Authorities said Hancock was bleeding from her mouth and was treated by an EMT who determined the wound was superficial. Stanley was served on uh well excuse me stanley has served on the butler force for more than 22 years while sellers um has uh served for about two and a half years butler police chief john pastor says stanley has no formal reprimands in his personal file and was placed on leave as a result of repeated correspondence from concerned residents including a lot of hate emails and phone calls. Zellers has not been placed on leave, police said. 
Hancock and her attorney, Michael Wright, held a news conference Wednesday to discuss the incident. Hancock said that she felt like she could have lost her life over a sandwich and felt lucky that she was able to to now tell her side of the story. I would really like to know why did McDonald's call the police? Because if it was uncalled for, why they call the police? She need to really also, if she's going to do a lawsuit, add McDonald's in it. As a matter of fact, you know, that's where it originated, all of this, you know? See, if the, these restaurants would train their employees to make the damn sandwiches like people asked them to make it, things like this won't happen. I mean, this woman right here should have just got a whole new free meal. You understand what I'm saying? Plus, you know, her money back. You understand what I'm saying? Just for having to, when she bought the sandwich, drive home, and to find it with no extra cheese on the damn Big Mac, what she paid for, she had to go back. You know, more inconvenient. See, they don't think about shit like that until it's them. See, that's the thing about it, you know? But to continue here, I don't want people to feel like I'm complaining for a piece of cheese, she said. Wright said the responding officer were looking for a fight. Well, the responding officers was looking for a fight rather than to dis de-escalate, okay? Uh, he called for Stanley to be fired and charged with assault. He also criticized the restaurant for calling the police over the dispute. If they can't manage basic customer service, opting to potentially put a person's life in jeopardy over a mishandled Big Mac. It doesn't seem safe for black people to go and eat at McDonald's anymore, Wright said. And I will agree with that. I definitely would agree with that. In conclusion here, it says, Wright said, no decision has been made yet on whether a lawsuit will be filed, noting that his firm was waiting for individual, excuse me, for additional video inside McDonald's and more information from police. McDonald's did not immediately respond to an email request for comment Thursday evening. Uh, well, you know, that's a good thing. If you guys can pull surveillance video to show exactly what made uh, McDonald's, you know, call the police, then you could probably get somewhere. Now, if she didn't do anything for McDonald's to call the police, then guess what? McDonald's is liable for her what she went through with those police officers and that damn police officer hey same thing with you you stepped over the line there was no reason why you had to beat that woman you know and you did not hit her with an open palm your punk ass was hitting her with your fist your right hand that was no open palm and that's just what it was but i want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular story right here i'm interested in hearing your thoughts views and opinions on it like comment share and subscribe and people, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched, simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.